Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Victoria and today we are doing something so exciting and I've wanted to do this for so long. So now that we are actually in the season where we can do this, we are styling a turtleneck, a plain black, very basic turtleneck. This one that I have on right now. I Pretty much curated this bit right here so I wanted to show you how easy it is to curate your own capsule wardrobe and I put together a few things that will definitely be good for different seasons that was sort of the idea for this video taking one piece and styling it a bunch of different ways so that's what we have here so we're styling one turtleneck and we have a total of 11 pieces and that does include coats so this is very minimal down here I do have some bags and some shoes that I will be changing up with each of these outfits just to keep it fresh and show you how to take the outfits from day to night so let's see how many ways we can style one turtleneck so these are all we have boots these are all of the shoes and purses that we are going to be styling with, let's just see these are all the boots and purses and then here we have tanks we have vests skirts dresses sweater vest and then some jackets we also have a few different belts right there so yeah let's get into it we are starting off with a pair of black trousers these are pleated and they are wool, so they will keep you very warm. They do have a cuff at the bottom. We're pairing them with a red leather belt and black shoes. And then we're adding a red purse, which is very on trend right now. You can add any color purse really just for an extra pop. And I love how the silver on the belt and the purse complement each other, especially the shapes. And here we're switching the red bag for a black one, so the red belt pops even more. Next we are layering it with a denim vest. Vests are very popular right now. And then we have the black heeled boot on still. Switching it up, we are going to take the same outfit and add a silver loafer. And these are coach loafers. They are so comfortable. And I just love how this sort of makes it more of an academia type outfit. Next, we are just switching up the belt, which gives such a subtle change, but really makes a difference. This is very dark academia, Parisian and New York styled. And here we have a wool coat. This is one of my favorite wool coats. Just the oversized style and length of it is perfect. And paired with this, it just gives a very chic but cozy look to it. Now we're pairing with a complimentary bag, the shape and color. Now we're switching up the coat. So this is another very chic, oversized wool coat and I just love the dark olive tone of it and next we switched out the loafers for sling back heels and for this next look we switched to red patent leather heels and also added a knit tank top and this is just a thin knit tank top but it's actually really warm when layered Perfect for those chillier days without being too bulky. Now for my favorite way to wear basically anything in the fall and winter, it's with a black mini skirt. And here we're pairing it with the black turtleneck and knit tank. We also have a pair of knee high heeled boots. And for some warmth and texture, I am adding a Sherpa jacket. We're also adding a red purse just to add back that pop of color. And just in case we don't wanna freeze, we are going to add the wool long coat 
and I think this just gives such a nice cozy look to it. It's chic, but still cool girl vibes, and you can take this look from day to night and be toasty while doing so. Next, we are switching up the jacket for a puffer vest, and I actually got this in the kids section. I just wanted a cropped vest and I think this gives the most perfect look. It is cozy, but still cool girl, opera ski, I don't ski type look. <laughs> and here I'm just tucking in the shirt a little bit more. And yeah, I love this with the boots. It gives it just like an elevated, very simple look and still very much on trend. Next, we are adding a chenille sweater. This is a black chenille sweater, and it's just another cozy texture. Um, I'm really all about adding different textures. Like the skirt is very plain, it's minimal. Then we have the textured chenille sweater, leather boots, and a patent leather shoulder bag. Another thing I love about this outfit is the boxier sweater with a more sleek heel. I love the way they balance each other. Adding a long coat here, and I did switch out the boots for some socks and loafers, and this just gives a completely different look here. You could also tuck in the sweater a little bit for a little bit more shape. And yeah, here are the shoes again. I just love this look. I think it is so cute. And again, bringing a pop of color with the metallic loafer. And here's the same look with a denim vest again. And I just think this breaks up the black so nicely. And you know we have to add a pop of color with the red bag. And of course, because it is winter and cold, we are adding tights and you can pretty much add tights to any and every outfit. And I don't know why, but this feels very Friends era type 90s outfit. Um, I don't know why just buttoning the vest made it seem so much more um, 90s. And now for my absolute favorite way to wear a black skirt in the winter, plain black turtleneck, black skirt, black tights, black boots. <laughs> this is very plain, minimal, chic, effortless. Literally, if I don't know what to wear or if you don't know what to wear, throw on a, an all black outfit and you are instantly just chic and elevated. We're adding a black Sherpa here. And again, one more layer of cozy comfort and texture. And I did pair them with black booties. These are pointed toe and embroidered, so there's a lot more texture to them. Adding a gray wool coat. Again, adding in that extra layer of warmth. And balancing a plain chic black outfit with a oversized wool jacket. I couldn't decide which purse I wanted to go with, but we chose the red one. Again, you can ch change them up with any of the purses and it will just give different looks for each of them. Switching out the jacket for the puffer vest. And again, this just gives a nice chic look, but that extra warmth um, and texture. And then I switched out the heels for some combat boots. These are the best, they are my favorite. And again, um, this could be good for walking all around the city or any kind of winter activities, seeing lights, visiting family, you name it. Speaking of warmth, we are switching it up to this extra cozy, chocolate brown jacket and this is the coziest suede and it's so cute it's really all about mixing textures and look at this coat oh i love it the inside is sherpa and it's just so rich and cozy
Going back to the Chanel sweater, we are adding the tights with it again, and then we have on some boots. And I really think this is such an easy way to make something cute and cozy. And again, very, very effortless. You can throw this on with any kind of sweater and boots. And really, it's just like the cutest way to elevate any look. And now we're switching it up to a layered look. And this is actually a vintage camisole and I just thought it gave a nice texture, um, the shiny look to it. It does have a little bow and I love layering these type of pieces, very juxtaposed where it's like you have a turtleneck and then a sleeping camisole and it just gives a nice touch to it. Layering again with the Sherpa jacket and yeah, this is just another really nice layering look. And baby, it's cold outside, so we are layering it with the olive green long coat. And can somebody tell me why a belt just completely changes and elevates an outfit? Like, that just took it to a whole nother level and it looks so cute. Changing out the camisole for the knit tank. Added the belt over the tank. This just gives a little bit more texture on top. You're covering um, pretty much the entire skirt and you just have that little bottom like inch or two that is poking out. Again, this is all about mixing textures and layers without looking extra bulky. And we do have the tights and combat boots on still. Of course, we had to bring back the knee-high boots for this look. Just gives it an extra pop of chic. And the boots do have a buckle on them, so the buckle on the boots matches the belt buckle. Now on to the maxi skirt. We have a velvet maxi skirt here, and it is so soft and so flowy. This would actually be perfect for any kind of holiday events, whether you are going out with your girlfriends or with coworkers or date night. This is actually perfect. Layering again with the black camisole, add a pair of black booties with this. And I can't tell if this is giving school teacher or chic. Definitely let me know what you think added this wool coat back because honestly I will be living in this coat until the end of time. Moving on we added back the red belt because honestly this pop of color is just exactly what this all black outfit needed and it's just giving extra bit of texture with the leather suede look and yeah I love it. For this look we added a black bag. Toning down the all black, we added the denim vest back, of course, with the combat boots. And you know what? This is giving invite me to your book club right now. Por favor, of course. And no styling video is complete without a crop top, so we are cropping this turtleneck. And I just love how this looks with the turtleneck and the long skirt. And we went from the patent leather bag to the small leather bag to the red bag. And this look really goes with pretty much anything and everything. And another way to make an outfit kind of effortless is to match your nails with your bag. And that's what we did here. You know we had to add the vest for this look, just for an extra layer, and we don't want to be chilly, so this just kind of hides the stomach just a tiny bit. Added some socks and the loafers with this look, and I think it's just really cute. And you totally see this girl at the coffee shop or running errands, walking around the city, exploring, and I just love it. And we have loafers on with this. I changed up the socks with loafers to stockings and loafers and then paired it with heeled boots. So this is very versatile and that's what we're going for in all of the looks. 
Our love for mini skirts is not over. We have the patterned mini skirt next. This one has a slit for just a little extra something to it. Paired it with the black knee high boots and threw on the chocolate brown coat. I feel like this one goes best with this skirt just because it kind of brings out the brown tones in the skirt a lot more than the skirt does on its own. And then we paired it with the olive green long coat for just that extra warmth that we love. And animal print seriously looks so good with red. So I'm so glad I had this purse to show you guys. It's just a really nice complimentary but contrasting element. And here we're adding back the knit tank and you can leave it out like this but it actually looks pretty cute tucked in and again just an added layer of warmth especially with the knee-high boots i honestly live for slip dresses and this slip dress is no exception this is actually from Princess Polly and I've had it for a few years now and this is definitely my favorite way to wear it. I love it in the winter and fall with a turtleneck and tights and boots and seriously it just gives such a cool look without having to try too hard. Literally throw it on and you're good to go with any of your favorite jewelry or layering pieces. And of course we had to pair it with the red bag. We are loving the red bag this season. We've seen it seriously everywhere, whether it is shoes, a bag, shirt, pants, socks, tights, <laughs> red is everywhere. And can't forget to pair it with a black bag just for a very seamless monochromatic look. And to tone down the dressiness, I did add it with a pair of combat boots. And here we are adding a coat and patent leather bag. The size of this bag is so good. You can seriously fit so much in it. And I did pair this outfit with the knee-high boots. And look how simple it is to change up the look by just adding a pop of color. And don't be afraid to mix textures. You know we love texture here. So we are pairing this slip dress with a Sherpa jacket. And this very much gives city girl vibes. And of course, sometimes you don't want all of the layers. So we took off the tights and threw on some heels and I have the slingback heels with this one. The heels do have texture to them and some sparkles. So they are one more textured element um, to pair with a slip dress perfect for holiday parties. The next item we're pairing with this black turtleneck is a colorful dress and I actually love this dress. I've had it for so long and I love it in the fall. So this is definitely a transitional piece and we're pairing it with a black bag. And I do have on a pair of boots. These are the combat boots. And yeah, I just love this dress. It's a very, very light dress and it pairs perfectly with a turtleneck and tights. And we're pairing it with the chocolate brown coat. And you can see how you can take your favorite summer dresses or fall dresses and layer them for a nice winter look. And now we're bringing back the chenille sweater. This one is just, again, a cool effortless layered look. And the skirt is on the lighter side. So layering it with tights and a turtleneck really does make this more of a capsule piece. Definitely transitional so you can take all of your summer pieces and wear them in the fall and winter. And here I'm just tucking in the sweater to the top of the dress so it gives it more of a balloon type billowy look 
and I actually love this because it shows more of the dress but makes the sweater more of a cropped sweater so I love this look playing up the fall and winter tones we have the dress with a red bag and knee-high boots and I just think this is another way to bring summer looks into the fall just keep them very minimal and layered And no styling video is complete without a pair of good denim. These ones are absolutely perfect. They're 501s. They're also my boyfriend's and I'm obsessed with them. I have been looking for the perfect pair of vintage Levi's for so long and who knew they were just sitting in my boyfriend's closet. So yeah, I stole them. And so here they are. They do have a raw hem. I paired them with a belt. You can also do this without a belt for a more casual look, pulling them down just a bit so they sit lower on my hips. And yeah, this is very effortless. Again, you can pair this with any color bag, any kind of bag, just for either a pop of color or whatever vibe you're going for. We paired this look with the silver loafers and I just love how the silver plays off of the silver in the red bag and yeah, just very casual, low effort, but also all the effort because <laughs> you know how outfits work. And this outfit you could totally wear with a sweater. You can wear it with the knit tank, the puffer vest, literally any of the outfits that we put together. You can totally pair them with your favorite denim jeans. So there you have it, styling one turtleneck a million different ways. I hope you guys got some really good ideas for your own fall and winter styling. I think we put together some really cool outfits and some of them were a little bit of a stretch from what I normally wear, so it was good even for me just to like put things together and see how they paired. This will be a, a great way to create a capsule wardrobe, especially for different seasons. You can take these pieces and bring them into other seasons and create more of transitional pieces. Um, and just by layering, you can make them fall and winter. So that's pretty much what we did here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see from me, styling or hauls. I love creating this kind of content for you guys and giving you hopefully some good ideas um, so you can style on your own. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to leave any comments or suggestions but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video take care guys bye